In this video, we're going to do our first exercise uh, based on all the things that we've learnt previously um, in all the other uh, tutorials. So, before we start, um, you should download the uh, drawing files from the link below so you have something to work with. Okay, and once you've done, done that, downloaded those, um, we can get on with uh, drawing up the ground floor plan of the house that we're going to be working on. So the first thing we want to do is open up our layer manager. So we'll go up here, left click, and as you can also see you can just type the word layer at the bottom there and also bring it up. So let's create a new layer. Press the new layer button and we'll call it A for architectural and I'll do an underscore and we'll call it walls. And perhaps we'll call it walls uh, hyphen brick, just to differentiate between the different materials. Okay, what we might also do is change the colour of this layer, and I might just pick uh, this colour over here, uh, number 12. Click OK. Now, also, what I can do here is I can um, click on the green arrow to make it the current layer. So now it's our current layer, and we can now close the layer manager window. The first thing we're going to want to do is um, use the line command, so type L, enter, space, and it's going to ask us where we want to do our first line. Now, I always think that it's good to start at the 0.0, .0 area. So we've got that there, as you can see, we're now our first point, let's go at 0, 0 coordinate, on, so 0, X and 0, Y. Um, so it's a good reference point. Now you'll notice when you've looked at our floor plan that you've um, downloaded that we're going to be working on, that if we look horizontally from the bottom, the first dimension along is 1665 millimetres. So if I type 1665 and move my mouse in the right direction and press space or enter, we have a line. So if you can't see your line, just double click your middle mouse button, which is zoom extends, and you should be able to see it then. Okay. So we're obviously not going to need a line there, but we've just got that there for a reference point. So if we now do the line command again, so L, space or enter, and we can now left click on the end of our point there. Now, if you remember from previous um, lesson about snaps, um, you should be able to just snap on to um, the line. So if you can't snap on, uh, press your F3 key. As you can see, I've just pressed F3 and now it's not on. You press F3 again, it's on. Um, I'll just escape out of this again, just to show you again. If you pressed F3 and you still haven't got a snap on, just type OS as a new command, and you can bring up your uh, snaps commands again, and you can then select all the different um, points that you want to be able to snap to from the menu. So I'll just cancel out of there. So we'll go back to our line, and as you can see in the bottom part of our floor plan again, the next big dimension is 4600. So I type 4600, and I'm going to zoom extents. And as you see, we now have a line. We can now delete that first line because we don't need that. There's only a reference. So select and type E for erase, and then space or enter. Now we can just go around and do the outline of our, um, our building. So as you can see, we've now got 2105, and then we move along. We've got 1770. Okay. Now we've got a big one up here of 13895, so type that in. Okay, now I'm just going to press escape out of there twice. So we're out of the line command, and I'm going to double click my middle mouse button to zoom extents, so I can now see the top of that line. Okay, now I'm going to do the line command again, L space enter, and snap onto the end there, and we're going to go to up another 6320 is is um, the wall of our garage, and now we're going to be going back to the left direction, which is a dimension of 7140, and then we'll go down, and we want to go down 6230, and as you can see, we don't actually have a dimension there, so what we'll do is, we'll just press space, enter, or escape key twice, so we're out of command, and we'll go back down to the bottom here 
and we'll start the line command from somewhere that we do know. So we've looked from the bottom there where I've clicked and we'll come up 2105 again. Go to the left and we're going 1665 and as you can see all the dimensions there they're all in pieces. Um, we could just do one big one but we do have them, so it does have a little break in, in the building so we'll go 4575 what I was going to show there was that we do know that um, basically that these two points here um, are supposed to intersect so you may have noticed there too that I had intersecting lines coming up so if I just type L and press space or enter so I'm in the line command now if I highlight over um, the snaps for a moment you, sh you might have what's you can see is called the extension line. Now you need to have your F11 key turned on. So as you can see down the bottom there in my companion prompt, when I press the F11 key, it's turning object snap tracking on and off. So you need to have it on. So we now have it on again. And so if, yeah, if you basically move your mouse over to the, the snap point and let it highlight there for a moment, it'll slightly um, start to track up to where we are. Um, if you move your your mouse, like if you pan or zoom, it'll it'll break that extension line. But as you see, we're going up. But if we then moved our mouse over to that line and then moved it out, you can see how it um, comes out to a, a basic sort of junction. Um, and if I left click there, it's perfectly picked a point there. So I can actually now just click on that line there. And I know we didn't have the dimension there before, but now we know um, that that's perfect going to line up there. But, um, but if we continue to the way we were down the bottom here, start the line command again, and we'll come in 1200 near the entrance, and then we'll go up uh, 1550, and we know we'll come in 1200 again. You see how I didn't type 1200 at that time? See how I just highlighted my mouse over that uh, endpoint, and it's just come up with an extension. So if I left click there, I know that's exactly 1200 and I can type in the dimension there 770 and it should just come up to that line there oh it's quite a little bit off there so something's gone wrong there not quite sure what we've done um, perhaps one of my dimensions is a little bit off but just for the sake of the argument we'll just use the fillet command and we'll fill it these two lines together okay so there's our basic outline of our uh, brick walls of our floor plan so the next thing we want to do is offset the wall thickness. So we'll type O for offset, and it's going to ask us what um, dimension we want to offset by. If you look at the floor plan, there's a number that there's 240. That's a 240 mil thick wall. So that consists of brickwork, which is a 110 mil mm thick, a 40 millimeter cavity, and a 90 millimeter timber stud wall. So now just go around offsetting our lines inwards now if this was all a polyline uh, which we could have done um, this would have been able to just offset in in one go which would have saved a bit of time okay all right so we've got that as you can see we've got a few corners there that aren't so good so we can use the fillet command so f for fillet space or enter. Uh, make sure that your radius is set to zero. If it's not set to zero, type the R letter on your keyboard, press space or enter, and then type zero. So that's, um, and then press enter again. Okay, so we can just uh, clean up these um, corners. So what I'm basically doing is I'm filleting and then I'm pressing the space or enter key to restart the command every time I fill it. So every time I fill it, it ends the command. So we'll just go around, clean that up a little bit. Okay, we can also, if you wanted to just look at this for a moment, um, it's probably easier with the fillet command, but we could also use the trim command if we wanted to. So I just typed TR and then highlighted my mouse over both those lines and press the left button. And 
press the space button to let it know I've selected the objects and now it just asks me to delete the objects I want so that's another way I can do it too. Okay so we have our outline of our walls. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer so we can go up here to our layer properties manager or just type the word layer at the command prompt and we can create a new layer and we'll call it a underscore walls and we'll call it timber press space or enter oh sorry you have to press enter there okay um, now I'm going to create uh, select the color 35 for my timber wall now I can select it and make it current if I want but what I'm about to do it's not going to matter so much um, well look we'll select it anyway because we'll need it later right and now we can close that window basically all I was going to do was highlight and select these um, these lines which are the internal lines which would be the actual timber stud wall and then I was just going to go up to our layer drop down menu or window and then select on a walls timber and if I press escape you can see that's now moved those lines to the timber layer. Now let's look at doing some of the internal walls so as I said we selected um, we, well, we made this layer current before I, um, when we're in the layer uh, properties window we um, clicked on the green tick to make it the current uh, another way to change layers is just to use this drop down box to make them current as you can see I'm doing that so going back down to the bottom of our um, floor plan again you can see we've got the bedroom study area so let's offset uh, 3300 millimeters for the width of that room and then as you can see we we have our um, the internal side of our wall and then we offset again and we make it 90 so that's 90 mil thick for our wall and what we can do here is we can fill it this line here and then we can offset again 90 millimeters and then we can fill it and here what we can do is we can trim so TR space or enter select all those lines press space and then we can just trim those lines out okay and now we want to get the uh, the depth of our room so again we're going to use the offset command so O space or enter and on our floor plan we have a dimension of 4 2 Six five. Okay, as you can see, we have it there. Now we can offset another ninety millimeters, and we now have that room. So we're going to fill it these walls. So we have those. Okay, so there's our uh, bedroom study area. Now we can come out here too for our um, entry area, fifteen hundred. So. 1500 come up uh, oh actually that's the 990 wall I think that's a double thickness wall of 180 you know it's not drawn on the plan it's what it looks like to me and then we can trim and trim that out okay now we're going up to the bedroom here and we've got up the top there a dimension of 3300 so we'll offset 3300 okay and that's pretty much our wall to our corridor and we'll offset now 90 millimeters to give it the thickness and now we can fill it this wall and offset again 90 mil and we can fill it and fill it okay now the uh, depth of these bedrooms too is also 3300 so we'll offset and we'll 3300 and to there and then we can offset 90 mil and that should be probably let's see we've got uh, yeah 600 mil it should be okay for the for the robe and then we'll offset another 90 mil okay now we can draw a line right in the middle of these lines to work out the um, 
what the width of these um, robes are going to be. So, as you can see, when I drew the line there, a little triangle came up. Let's move it out of the way. If I just even move my line there, you can see that triangle there, which is a midpoint, which pops up. Now, this is the middle of uh, these robes, and we want it to be a 90mm wall too. We're going to want to offset 45mm on either side. So 45 there, 45 there. It means we can now delete that middle line. And if I look at the distance, it's 90mm uh, thick. And it should be exactly equal. Oh, that's 1605 and 1605. So it's perfectly equal it's, um, for both those robes. So now we can tidy that up a bit by using our fillet command. So F, spacer enter. So we've got the basics of um, uh, yeah, the bedrooms there. As you can see, we've got to bring the wall right across here. So I can either do what I've done there is select the line, left click on the grip, and then just drag it across so it's perpendicular. Make sure it snaps onto perpendicular. That's one way we could do it. The other way we could do it is using the extend command. So EX, spacer enter, select the boundary you want to um, uh, extend to, and then press space or enter. And now it asks us to select the object we want to extend. And that's our line. So there we have it. So um, what we probably want to do here too is offset another 240 millimeters. Okay, so there we go uh, to there, and now we can fill it, and we can trim these lines here. Right. If you notice in the corridor there too, we have a dimension of 1250, so we can offset 1250 to get the next wall along, and then we can offset 90mm. And now we can go in and trim. Okay. So now we have the laundry, uh, and that's uh, 2700 uh, offset, so for the depth, so yeah. offset that 2700, now we'll offset another 90mm. Now we can offset uh, 900 for the toilet, or the WC, water closet. And we'll offset another 90 mil. In the bathroom, we have another 2700, so offset 2700. Okay. And another 90 mil. Okay, now we can tidy that up by using the fillet command again. And now we can use the trim command. So TR, space or enter. Now look, I'm going to select all these lines in one go by left clicking and then letting a window drag around then left clicking again now press space or enter and I can just trim out those pieces there okay so we've basically got um, our, the outline of our walls there um, it looks like actually for the store there is a little bit of area there and that'll be um, pretty much the middle of that space for the stairs so what we can do is uh, we can draw a temporary line it's from there to there and we can using our object snaps as I said highlight over there and highlight on the middle of this and we have an imaginary line so we'll just draw that across there and then we can offset 45 millimeters either side so we know that's exactly in the middle and in this case actually we can you now fill it back here and we can offset uh, 90mm and we can fill it here Oop, okay. and fill it here right and the depth of the stair I don't have a dimension in there but I'm going to have a guess at approximately 1200 you can fix it up later if it's not quite the case so that way we know where to trim the wall so I'll use the trim command and there we go that's the basics of our external and internal walls. Um, we can go around now and <coughs> put in some of the windows. Um, if we start down here, we can uh, come up, what is it, 1473. That's not the best dimension in the world, but that's what it is. Okay. And then we can offset 
1800 for that window. As you can see. Right. So basically what I did there, just to go back, was I started the line command. I used that uh, object snap extension thing. I just came out a little bit. And then I came up the dimension that we wanted to come up, which was 1473. And then I just drew a line. Well, I'll come up 1473, I'll do it again. And then I just moved my mouse to the left and just left click anyway. Didn't really matter what dimension was, as long as I was crossing right across those uh, things of this wall. And then I offset um, 1800 wide for that window. So what I can do now is I can use the trim command and trim all that in there. And um, I can also trim these parts off if I want to. And oh, you can see we have two lines there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to make this little return in here for the window. I want to make that on the same layer as the brick. Now I could do what I did before and select both the objects, then go up to here, um, the drop down uh, window for uh, the layers, and then select the layer. Or I can use another thing called match properties. So to do that, I can just type the letters M A space or enter, select uh, what I uh, what I want the new object to be. So basically, this is the layer that I want, uh, or the object that I want the properties to be copied from. And once I've done that, it'll ask me to select the destination objects. So that one, and that one. So that's another way of doing it. Uh, match properties is a bit different to just selecting the object and moving to the um, the different layer, because it, match properties doesn't just affect layers, it affects uh, text heights, dimension styles, all sorts of different things. So it's uh, quite useful. So anyway, we can get rid of those lines now. Now if you wanted to go around and um, put in all the windows yourself now, you could go ahead. Um, we'll look at more things later about what's shown on the floor plan, such as the, the beds and the furniture, and, um, and we'll worry about that later. Um, and you also notice that in the bathroom and laundry and toilet areas there's um, tiling, and I'll show you how we do that. Um, so you can stop now and continue on at your own pace, or you can just keep up with me. Um, I'm going to just keep going through. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put in uh, the window um, for the bathroom. So we're going to offset, we can see that it's 4053 from this window, so we'll offset it up there. And it's a 1500 wide window, so we'll offset that. And now we can trim. Alright, and the next one is 1285, and it's a 610 window. Oop. Okay, uh, not really too, too happy about that to be honest. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to center that window. Two things I'm going to do first is I'm going to trim these lines here. Alright, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw an, another temporary line and I want to show you something else. If we select all those lines in there and say we want them to be perfectly centered on this line here between these two walls, what we can do is we can select the middle, which is the center of that opening, and we can hold down our shift key and then right click and we'll come up with a window. And you should see something that says mid between two points. So you can uh, left click that. You can also let go of your shift key now. Now it's going to ask us for the first point. So I'll say here and the second point. And well, in this case, as you can see, it's moved um, or stretched just the, that one particular line. I'm just going to undo that. I'll do that again. So, sorry, what I forgot to do the first step around there was I've selected the grip in the middle. As you can see, it's a hot grip. What I forgot to do was down here in the command prompt was to press the space bar. So now it's on move. So that way, now we can hold down our shift key on our keyboard, right click, click on mid between two points, and click here and here. And as you can see, it's moved it right in the middle 
of that wall just as we wanted to. Now we can just move it back perpendicular and we have that perfectly in the middle of that wall and then we can trim that off. Okay, so that was, yeah, sort of basic way to do it. It's quite a useful little command that. Um, uh, we, we'll probably use that again uh, later on. What we'll do now though is we'll continue putting these uh, windows in. Um, the next dimension was 980, so we'll offset that. And then the width is 1210. Okay, and then we can just trim that off as well. So trim. Okay, so that's the basics of those windows on that side. We go down here, we don't actually have a dimension for the window there, so let's just make one up. What we'll do is we want it to be centered on that wall, so we'll, we'll draw an imaginary line. And say we want that window to be perhaps um, 1800 wide. So half 1800 is 900. So we'll offset 900 this side and that side, which will equal 1800 from here to here. So now we can trim that out. Oops, not the ones we want. Okay, and now we can delete that. Now we can use our match properties command again, MA, select that and we want those to be the same as the first object. Okay. Again we can see uh, that we don't have a dimension for the opening for the doorway. Uh, I'm just going to measure that. That is in there. It's oh we've got it there already. So let's make that 1500. So we'll draw an imaginary line and if we want it to be 1500, half of 1500 is from 750. So 750. 750, and we can trim all this off, so trim that, and that, and we can delete that, and then we can match properties again, okay, so that's all good, and again we have some windows here, but we don't have a dimension, um, they look bigger than the previous windows, perhaps they might be, I'll make them 2400, so, okay, um, what we want to do is we'll trim this wall here first. Alright, and a line there, and we'll make 1200 offset, 1200 offset, and we'll trim. So I'll trim all this off, delete that, MA for match properties. Okay, so we've got that one. Now, as you can see, that's um, that 2400 opening was right in the middle of that wall. But if I was to pick the middle of this wall now, that wouldn't actually be, um, wouldn't be the same dimension basically as this one because from this wall we've got a dimension of 450 and a dimension of 450. But if I was to do it from here, um, I'll show you. 1200. 1200. Let's extend these lines. So extend command. Alright, so. Oop. So, look at this dimension now. We've got 795 and 795, where the previous one was 450. The reason being is. This is where we should be doing it from. We should be doing it from the halfway point from this line to this line, not from this line to this line. So what we can do is we can draw um, another temporary line and we'll, from the midpoint of that line we'll draw another temporary line. We can delete this one if we'd like. And what we'll do is draw one more temporary line. Now we're going to use the stretch command. So type S on your keyboard, press space or enter, and we want to select all that. Now what we can do is we can hold down the shift key and left click that line because we don't want that selected. And once we're finished we can press space or enter. Now it's going to ask us for a displacement point. What we're going to do is we're moving the midpoint between these two windows which is what we've done with this imaginary line. So we'll select on this midpoint, so left click that and then we can left click there and now that's moved 
moved everything. We can delete these lines. That's moved everything perfectly. So that should be 450 mil. There we go, 450. 450. So that's how we did that. So hopefully you followed that okay. Okay, and we can just match property this, these. And what else have we got to do? We've got to put in the internal door openings. We can delete this line as well. Okay, so I'm going to trim this as well while we're here. What I want to do is I want to uh, come up 100 mil. So I'm going to do that thing with the object snaps. I've my, um, put my left mouse button over this point, and then I've put my mouse over there, and as you can see, a little extension line's coming up. Uh, make sure you've got your ortho turned on with your F8 key. So I'm going to type 100 and then come across. And as you can see, we've, we've got 100 mil there to come up. We, put, we could, of course, offset this line up 100 and either um, stretch it over this line or trim it or extend it. Um, and the openings we're going to have for these doors is going to be 900. So we'll offset 900. And then we can trim off there. And again, we want to come 100 mil down from this line here where the road would actually be. So but we'll start the line command and we'll come down 100 mil and across. And we can offset. And as you can see, I don't have to type 900 again because the last time we offset it was already 900. So, okay, we can trim those off. We can delete that. Okay, what else have we got? Um, we've got the bathroom. Now that that uh, looks like it's in the middle, that door. So, as you can see, I've just drawn a line which is you know, sitting right on the midpoint with that little triangle coming up. And as the openings are going to be 900, uh, half of 900 is 450. So we can offset 450 this direction and 450 this direction. Delete that line. And we can trim. Alright, so with that. And it'll be the same with this one. But uh, what's this? Uh, we've got 900. Up. Let's make this door a little smaller. So we'll make it an 800 wide opening. So we'll say 400 offset from each side. Um, although this is not so much to do with learning AutoCAD, the reason I usually allow a little bit extra is to allow for an architrave uh, to go around the door. If it's hard up against the um, the wall, you really don't have much room for an architrave, so I always allow just a little bit. I prefer 100, but 50 mil is usually okay as well. So, okay, and that looks like the laundry's in the middle too. And that's back to 900, so 450 and 450. And we can trim all this off. Great. Alright, so it looks like we've got all the openings. Oh, but the door at the top here. Okay. We'll make that uh, uh, 450 either side as well. Okay, and we'll trim all that off. Delete that line. And okay, so we'll leave it at that for now. Now there is actually something here that's not quite right with the dimensions. I don't think is that we want to match properties to make this brick work because it would be brick work, and we'll make this brick work. But technically, um, these walls here wouldn't be um, 240 mil if they were double brick, which they will be. They'd be 230. So we can. Offset and back 10 mil. So then we can fill it and delete existing ones. So and come back 10 mil. Not a big deal really for what we're doing, but just yeah, we want to be accurate. Okay, and as you can see, we need to fill it these corners here. Over here. All right. So now you can um, save your drawing. So to save your drawing, you can click on the little disk. Um, you can also type the letters Q save command prompt, and it's going to ask us where to save our drawing. Um, I was going to put it here. 
Let's call it ground floor. And just save. Okay. So we've got that all ready. Um, we'll go through putting in the doors and the windows as well later on. This is the basics of just drawing the um, the floor, the floor plan, walls, and the openings for the doors and the windows. So um, if you stay with me, I'll take you through uh, further uh, with the next steps. Thank you.